This model can create absolutely stunning images. Hello my friends, how are you doing? Today I want to show you a model but also Laura so it can help you to create absolutely amazing images and also a trick with the upscaling to get even better results from that. Let's get started. First, let's have a look at the model here. It is called Ray Liberate and it is from the same person who also trained the Deliberate model. This is a ST1.5 model and it is good for LoRa realism creators, meticulous autonomy artists and photographers. One of the main things that this model can do is photorealism in a stunning detail and I think this is especially good for portraits because with close-up photos you get a very high definition of the details of the skin. When you have the model down here you have all these images click on one of these images and that will then open up this page. Now on the right side in the lower corner you can see there is the prompt the negative prompt the model and the other settings that have been used here so that can give you a lot of input in how to prompt for this how to adjust for that what kind of sampler to use for that but also you can spot in the prompt sometimes for example example LoRa's that have been used but also negative embeddings that have been used. They stand out to you often by the strange kind of names they have. They're not normal prompts word. They kind of sound different. Often they are also connected to a weight. So from that you can then use Google to search for what kind of negative embedding or LoRa that might be and this will give you a huge advantage. Now when we look at these image examples here they are just stunning from the quality and I have to say that they have a resolution and also quality of the skin texture that is really amazing and I have to question if this has been done simply in automatic 1111 through different methods or if this is using an external upscaler like for example chainers which I'm going to do a video about soon in the future. In this case when you look on the right side in the prompt you can also see here with these pointy brackets that there is a LoRa used that is called LoRa and we're going to look at that today because this can add really some very nice benefits to your rendering. So overall you can see that this can create amazing images and especially the skin texture and the details and also the anatomy of the facial structure is really amazing with this model. Before we look at automatic 1111 let's look at the two LoRa's that I'm using here. One is the LoRa that we just saw in that prompt. What this is doing is that it creates this kind of low light situation. Now the huge benefit of a light like this is of course that because of the light coming from the side onto the skin texture or onto finer textures this will highlight the texture by creating a higher contrast and because of that making these details more visible. This is an old trick from photography and of course it also works with AI. So using this to create a higher texture in the skin and by that also make it seem like it has a lot more details is a really good way to improve the quality of the images. The second LoRa is called Detail Tweaker. I already made a video about that. Really check that out because this can really, really improve the quality of your images. Now what this does is it simply adds more details to your image. And this LoRa can be used in a weight range from 2 down to minus 2. And with 2 you will add a lot of detail to the image and with minus 2 you will actually extract detail from the image if you want to create a simpler image it can have really amazing results. And even though you can see on this page here that this can also be used on anime images that also works really well for photos and for digital painting images. Now let's go back into automatic 1111 and look on how to use this model. First of all you're loading the model as usual. It is using Clip Skip 1 because it's a photo model so you don't need to change anything up here and if you don't have this kind of setting up here it is set to Clip Skip 1 by default. For the prompting I would highly suggest to you you start with the prompts you find on the Rare Liberate page and experiment with them and see where to go from there because a lot of that has to do with the image quality on the output. 
with this model I also did a lot of testing. I ran it through the different samplers to see what kind of results I can get from that. And surprisingly DDIM makes a comeback with this model because I found that I get really nice results with this sampler. I also got very good results from the Euler sampler, but I found that often with the ancestral samplers I didn't get as good results. The ancestral samplers are all of the samplers that have a small a in the name. Now here for the sampling method I'm setting DDIM for the steps I'm setting 40. So this needs more sample steps than you would use with for example Euler Ancestral. But at the same time DDIM is rendering rather fast through these steps. Interestingly enough when you have a close up where the face is large in the image I turned restore face off because I found that I get better details without restore face. On the other hand if you have a small face in your image because you have the complete upper body or even of a complete body shot I would turn restore face back on. Now in this specific prompt you can see that up here I'm using low ra in a weight of 0.3 and we can see in the result that the light is lower but also comes more from the side and this gives more texture to the skin and gives you more detail on the hair, on the skin, also here on the forehead with these little wrinkles, everything stands out a little bit better. Now to get the most out of this model, here is the second step I want to advise to you. So we are in image to image right now. When we scroll down to the settings, I want you to leave the size as it is. Don't upscale with image to image here. Instead what we are going to do is we're going down here to script and you're going to select the SD upscale script from that list. Now for this there are several methods I want to show you. The first one will use a denoise strength up here of 0.25. And then for the SD upscale you can leave the settings at 64 for the tile overlap and scale factor 2. Now for the upscaler you're going to use 4x ultra sharp. I will have this linked in the video description. I will show you at the end of the video in what kind of folder this model and also the Luras go. When everything is set up like this hit the generate button and wait for this to render through. This is going to render through nine images one after another with a 512 by 768 resolution of the tiles of the image and then stick the image together to a high resolution image. But as you can see here with really amazing detail. However, if you want to have at this point even more detail in your image, here are the changes we are going to do for the second method. At the end of your prompt you're going to make a comma and a space and then click here on this pink button and you're going to load the add detail LoRa. Then for the weight of this we're going to set 2 as the highest weight. Click again on the pink button to close the LoRa field. Now we are going to scroll down and we are looking at the denoise strength. Here we are going to set this a little bit higher to 0.35. You can experiment with even go a higher with the denoise setting. This will change the look of the image a little bit but also add more detail to the image. Because it gives the AI and the render process more freedom over the creation of the image. Again we are using the script as the upscale and we are not going to change any of the other settings. Now of course you click on the generate button again and here you can see a side by side result of these two methods. Now the changes might be subtle but I want you to look for example at the hairline and how different you see more details in the hair everything is a little bit finer. Also when we scroll down to the face you see more structure in the face texture but also when you look specifically at the lips and the little wrinkles on the lips you can see that even there you have more details, more sharpness in the image. Also going to show you where to put the LoRa's and also the sharpening upscale model. The LoRa's go into the automatic 1111 folder, there into the models folder and in there you can see you have a LoRa folder so all of the LoRa's go in there. 
And for the ultra sharp upscaling model, you want to put this also in the models folder, but in there into the ESR GAN folder, I would restart automatic 1111. So it checks through all of these folders and has access to the newest models you want to use. Let me know in the comments what other tricks you know to get even better quality out of this. Thanks for watching and hit that subscribe button. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.